A Calasian is something that's also called a sty very commonly. People often use the two terms interchangeably. Essentially, it's a little lump that can form on the margin of an eyelid because one of the meibomian glands, and that's one of the glands in the eyelid that makes the oils that keep the tears on the eye, can become blocked. And just talking about it, you might think, well, that's not going to cause a problem. But actually, if you have a child with a Calasian, I have seen the concern that can go through parents' minds. The first thing you want to know is, is this lump harming my child's vision? The answer to that is almost, it never, it almost never causes a problem with the vision. However, it can be uncomfortable. It can get slightly bigger and smaller in size. Many of them go away after a two week period, but sometimes they can persist and become a little bit more troublesome. Perhaps your child has had more than one lump on the lids, perhaps it's both eyelids. And anybody who has a slightly older child or a teenager who has a calasian will know how much distress this can cause them because it's something on the face and this is at a time when your interactions with your peers can be so important. We live in a digital age. People want to put photos up of themselves, of their children, show family, and putting a photo up on a site where your child looks as though they have a painful eye can draw a lot of attention, and that makes parents also increasingly anxious because other people are worried. So what can you do about it? I think the first thing to stress is, as I've said, many of these lumps just go away by themselves. You can speed that process up, and one of the things you can do is apply a, a hot compress, and we can discuss ways to do that even in a younger child. There are special ways of cleaning the eyelids that encourage these lumps to resolve by themselves. And again, people are worried because, particularly with children, they don't like anything near their faces, they certainly don't like anything near their eyes. And it's just having somebody take a bit of time and explain to you how you can do that to cause them and you as little distress as possible. Sometimes, these more simple measures that avoid medications aren't enough. And then we can talk about applying some ointments, often with a little bit of antibiotic on them, sometimes with a little bit of steroid ointment onto the lump. And occasionally, and it's really not very often at all, if the lump has been present for a long time, doesn't appear to be going, it's getting bigger and smaller and it's causing distress to you and your child, then we can think about undertaking a small procedure to get rid of this. It's a very quick procedure. If you were an adult, you would have it awake. And sometimes if you've got an older child, it's just a question of talking through the procedure with them, put, explaining how you put a little bit of anaesthetic into the lid. Sometimes to make that even more comfortable and less of, so there's no trauma involved, it's possible to give you a little bit of sedation or to give your child a little bit of sedation to help that along. And some children can't face it at all or they might be too small for that, in which case it's a full but quick anaesthetic. The surgical procedure itself is very successful at getting rid of these lumps, but while people come back afterwards and might be delighted it's gone away, what people are not delighted with is if it comes back. And that's something we really have to get over to families, which is that you need to keep going with the lid hygiene and hot compresses, maybe even a few times a week, just to keep this at bay so that the underlying problem, the inflammation of the eyelids, doesn't cause the problem to come back.